remember back a few years ago when my kids were smaller, they had been little toots, weren't minding. Um, so I kept telling them Santa Claus was not gonna come and see them and I was gonna turn into the Scrooge. So Christmas morning when they got up, they ran into the living room to see what Santa had brought them and there was nothing there. But I had created a poster giving them hints where they had to go all over the house and look for their Christmas stockings and their Christmas presents. And they thought it was fun and they thought it was a game. And it was the best Christmas ever actually. And they wanted me to continue to do that treasure hunt for their presents every year thereafter. One of my best memories of Christmas is when I had my first son. He was born in Houma, Louisiana on December 23rd and we came home on Christmas Day. Well, one of the male nurses dressed up as Santa Claus and a female nurse dressed up as an elf. And they put all the babies in the nursery in big red stockings. And on Christmas Day, Santa Claus and his elf delivered him to my room in his stockings so we could go home. I remember one Christmas when my youngest daughter was two, still in diapers, she would get the candy canes off of the Christmas tree. So I ended up having to take them all off the bottom of the Christmas tree so that she wouldn't reach and eat them all. Well, I walked into the laundry room, back into the living room. I find her in our rolling office chair, standing up, reaching for the first candy cane she could get. It was the funniest moment. Grabbed the, pic grabbed the camera, took her picture, and I have proof. This is a Christmas story brought to you by Dustin Thomas with Arkansas Elite Realty. Santa Claus always left our gifts out for Christmas and this year Dustin wanted a green motorcycle bike. He rushed into the living room for Christmas on Christmas Day to find no motorcycle bike. He was upset but tried to act grateful. Father said, go to the laundry room and fetch my boots, and we shall ride into town. Dustin walked into the laundry room to fetch the boots, and behold, no washer and dryer were found, but there was a green motorcycle bike with a large red bow. Dustin was so excited, like a giddy schoolgirl. That was Dustin's best Christmas memory. As we raised our children, we kept the holiday going all the time. All the time during the season. Um, Santa was coming all the time. You better be good, you know. And, and our kids would get so excited. They just couldn't try to sleep at night. They'd go to bed about 8, and you could hear them in there. I wonder if Santa's coming now, you know. I, I wonder if he's got here yet, you know, I could just hear it peep, you could walk by their door and their eyes would just be bright, even in the darkness. They were, they were just so excited, so, you know, uh, as Santa came to our house, of course we always had milk and cookies out for Santa, you know, and, and when the presents got delivered, every single year Santa would go by out of the house with a big ho ho ho. And then that lit everybody up, Santa's a bit here, you know, the kids are saying, I think I heard him on the roof, I know I did, I saw him out in the yard, I know he's out there, he's been here, I know he's been there, can we get up? And they come running in and they just, man, they see all the toys and the wrappings and, the, and all the things that are involved with, with Christmas. They just, the kids just hadn't had any sleep and they, they play to they're exhausted and they're laid out everywhere and then and then here comes all the food and, and excitement with the other family getting together but uh, that's that's more memorable to me to to watch my kids grow and and, and to have that belief and um, to keep that Christmas spirit alive.